guys, my name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. Today I want to talk to you basically about all the dumb stuff I've done along the way in Facebook, hard lessons I've had to learn, and mistakes. I don't want you to make these mistakes when you're trying to grow your business with Facebook and doing marketing. So I've got a couple of them for you. A couple are around using their ad system and a couple are just trying to figure out your silly Facebook page. So the first one I have is with the Facebook page itself. Now, I've talked about it in other videos, but what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get the bright idea to go on one of these sites like Fiverr.com and go buy yourself a thousand likes. Now, why is that a bad idea? I'll talk about it in a later video, but the reason it's a bad idea is because it's like pouring cancer all over your Facebook page. What you need to know is Facebook looks at your fan page very carefully and if people are not engaging with your page, what do I mean by that? When you post stuff, if people don't like it, if they don't comment it, if they don't share it, guess what? Facebook pretty much thinks your page is junk and stops showing your stuff. So what happens is when you are a smart guy and you go buy a thousand likes off some place like Fiverr, guess what? None of those people are ever going to like your Facebook page. They're never going to uh, share your posts. They never wanted to like it in the first place. So your page has about a 0% chance of ever getting people to like it and ever getting any traction. You literally have to shut the page down and start over. So don't make that mistake. That's my first tip for you of things absolutely not to do. Now, when you're posting to your Facebook page, um, things you typically would want to post to it, sales you're having, things about your business, that sort of thing. Things we find pretty interesting, well, turns out in the big scheme of Facebook, it's just not that interesting. And if that's all you're posting to your Facebook page, your Facebook page is just gonna die a slow death and not go anywhere. There's things you can post to it uh, that'll get it to grow, that'll get it people to start engaging with it, and then you wanna mix in your own content. I'll give you a great tip about that in our next video. Now, the third thing, and probably the biggest thing, the biggest thing, I know I was frustrated with Facebook with, and you might be frustrated with too, is this, nobody was buying my stuff. So I'd be posting stuff to my Facebook page, I'd be running ads on Facebook, I'd be doing it all and I wasn't making any sales. And it wasn't, it wasn't uh, until quite a while later I figured out why, and the reason is, is this. Okay, we've all been to a cocktail party, right? And social media, you've probably heard this before, social media is the biggest cocktail planet party on the planet, Twitter, Facebook. Think of it like a giant cocktail party, right? So we've all been to cocktail parties before and we run into that guy, that guy, right? The guy you walk, into, walk up to, you say hi, he says his name, and then he wants to start selling you right away on his financial planning services. We don't wanna be that guy, but when we run ads on Facebook and when we post stuff to our Facebook page, it's buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. We're that guy because people are on Facebook wanting to socialize. It's like a cocktail party. And then they see your ad, they see your status update, buy my stuff. Looks kind of silly, looks really pushy. And what do we do when we run into people at parties like that? We run like hell, right? We pass them off to somebody else and go meet someone else. We don't want to interact with people like that. So when I was posting ads like that on Facebook and I wasn't getting sales from it, that's totally what was happening is um, people thought I was that guy and they were running from me. It wasn't until I made a few little tweaks and did things a little bit differently that things started changing. And that's what I'll talk to you about in the next video. So for now, pretty simple guys. Don't buy those silly Facebook lights. Huge, huge mistake. Um, posting stuff about your business to your Facebook page, that strategy isn't gonna work. You're gonna have to do a couple tweaks to it. And then the third thing, just don't be that guy at the cocktail party. Don't go for the sale right off the bat, you know? There's a better technique. I'm gonna tell it to you in the next video. But just for now, those are some big mistakes. If you're not making sales off Facebook, maybe you're making those mistakes too. And I'll tell you more about how to fix them in another video. All right, guys, talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.